everybody, my name is Emma and this is my channel. Welcome, if you're new it's lovely to see you and if it's not, if you're not new then it's fab to have you back. This is my um, Slimming World um, weigh-in update. We are now on week four. I have got approximately two stone that I would like to lose. Um, I've had a bit of a slow start but Da, 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 da. Oh, half stone award thank god if I hadn't got this this week I would have seriously just gone the chippy um, because I had had I'd not had enough but it just seems to have taken me so long to get there um, so I've lost a lot I actually lost a pound and a half so I've lost um, seven and a half altogether now <laughs> So, um, and it was just an update really, and just to tell you how I've got on this week. So, um, it's been, it's now Thursday, and I got weighed in on Monday, but I thought on Monday I just didn't have time to upload anything, I uh, didn't have time to even record anything, sorry. And then I've worked nights, Monday and Tuesday night. Yesterday I looked like a hobbit, because I'd had no sleep, and I thought, my eyes look like that and I thought I can't possibly go on camera um, I know I don't look a great deal better today but um, I just thought it's now or never otherwise it's gonna be next week um, <laughs> so so I'm really really pleased and I am a quarter of the way there which is fantastic um, I don't know if any of you remember last week I was saying that I had started my food diary and it was the home bargain one and I was saying that I thought they'd um, made them with uh, Slimming World in mind. It was the shredding for the wedding one. Although the the one I really wanted was the uh, you bite it, write it. Yes, that's the one. Um, so, and when I've actually had a proper look at it, it's even more Slimming Worldy than I actually realised. Because if you look, it also gives you an A and a B choice. I know. So, coincidence? I don't think so. Um, I also said last week that I didn't enjoy doing these these food diaries and I wasn't really sure what the woman did with them only on Monday when I went it became apparent what she did with them because I got mine back and this was from the 28th of July this was week one so you're gonna do well in your first week aren't you and she's put you know I said I didn't know if she marked them she bloody does mark them and I think you'll find that that there says, perfect Emma, well done. That's like praise indeed, isn't it? I was like, perfect Emma, well done. Oh, that's fantastic. That's up there with today. We've just been to Aldi. It's a new Aldi that's just opened by us. Oh my God, they must have said to them, just put everything through four times the speed that you normally do when you normally do it really quick. Oh my God, it was, you know, when you're like, everything he was putting through, I kept trying to grab, as he was pushing it like that, I was trying to grab it and put it in the trolley, and I kept holding his hand. <laughs> so I think I slowed him down a little bit. And then at the end, he said to me, oh yeah, you did well there, fair play. And I was like, did you go that fast on purpose? And he said, when you wish your trolley round, because you have to put your trolley in a dead specific way, don't you, in Aldi? So when he said when you stood when you put your trolley there, you looked like you were like, come on. I was like, oh my god. So I come out. I said to my husband, he's just told me well done, great packing. My husband's like, ah, oh, for God's sake. Anyway, so I've had lots of praise this week, so that's been a bit nice. Um, so I'm just thrilled. Carried on. I've been really, really good. Although, like I say, I've done two nights, and both nights I took the Mayflower curry which is the home bargain well it isn't from home bargain but it's they sell it in home bargain the um, curry powder that you make you mix with water i've taken that for two nights and had it with rice and chips right like wedges because on nights a lot of the time if it's a bit of a quiet shift the immortal words will be muttered shall we get a takeaway and I thought, I can't, I just can't. And if I've got that, then I'll eat it at the same time and it feels like a takeaway, as it was, they didn't have a takeaway anyway, but it just feels like a bit of a treat on nights. But I didn't take, I put mushrooms in it and I put onions in it, um, 
but I didn't take any, I had the bag of salad twice to take with me twice and forgot it twice. So um, I didn't have any speed, but I'd taken strawberries and things with me and apples and whatever. So I ate speed in that way. Because sometimes the meals that you eat, they don't go with speed. Like how last week I took to work a baked potato and cheese. Well, baked potato and beans and then my healthy extra of cheese on the top. And then I had salad with it and beans and salad. But I felt like an obligation because I, I needed to have speed on the plate. And I don't really know how else to get around that. But anyway, so heading towards eight pound next week. If I can lose a pound and a half, then I can lose nine pounds. And I am feeling better and I am noticing a difference in my clothes, which is nice. Um, you'll have to excuse my hair in this video because I, who knows what's happened to it. I've got caught in the rain today. You know, it's been dead nice, hasn't it? The weather's been amazing. And then day off when I actually wanted to venture out and do something because yesterday I didn't do anything apart from binge watched Dirty John on Netflix. And if you haven't watched it, Oh my God, go and watch it. We binge watched the whole thing. So I sort of like hid under a blanket all day yesterday and didn't on the, on, a, on the most beautiful day. And then today, when we've had loads to do, we've been out and about loads, it's probably poured down all day and been freezing cold. But I'm not bothered because if the weather had lasted much longer, I probably would have had to shave my legs. And I haven't got that penciled in until end of April time. Um, because like you know you need you need a good chunk of time to do the winter defossization um, and I have not the time or the energy to do it now so I'm quite pleased that the weather's gone back to how it was the winter coat can remain the boots can remain as can the jeans because, you know, crop jeans are all right. Well, not crop, but, you know, like ankle grazers until you cross your legs and then everybody sees the horror when your jeans ride up. So at least I haven't had that. So we're, we're all good. The boots are on. The full length jeans are on. And, you know, we can, we can stay cosy with our winter coat until the end of April, I'm hoping. So last week I did um, most ridiculous excuse for not losing weight of the week and there isn't really one for this week because the, it was a, it was a, a group of two halves really this week there was it, it baffled me there was half the group it, it's, it appears I didn't go to that group last week I went to the later group and I'm glad I didn't because everybody that was there this week said they'd been ill all week and obviously they'd all caught something at Slimming World last week so half the group had been ill. No, all the group had been ill. Half the group had had an unexpected loss. And half the group had had an unexpected gain. And they'd all said, it's because they were ill. So when she went round the, the group saying, why do you think you've, why do you think you've had an unexpected gain? Because I've been ill. And why do you think you've, um, you've, you've, you've done really well? You've lost three pounds. How do you think you've done that? Have you had a really good week? No, I've been ill. So basically, I don't know. I don't know what they've all had. I don't know if they've all, I'm sure they've all had the same thing from what they were saying. But anyway, so I don't know. I don't know. I would have had an unexpected gain, I'm sure. Because I, you know how people, oh, she's been so stressed she hasn't eaten for a month. Honestly, I'm terrible. I, I just eat. I eat when I'm upset. I eat when I'm happy. I eat to celebrate, I eat to commiserate. At any occasion, happy or sad, food is generally the answer, I find. Um, which is why I'm back at Slimming World for about the fifth time now. Um, but this will be the last time, and I'm, this time I'm keeping it off. Um, so, that's a little bit Shrek for you there. If you, oh no, it wasn't Shrek. It was um, the Grinch. That was the Grinch. That was the Grinch. Um, I knew it was green. <laughs> oh God. Anyway, so I'm going to go and um, hopefully I'll catch up with you all next week. I've got a video to upload over the weekend. Um, it's another charity shop 
inspired video, but it's certain parts of my wardrobe that are all charity shop. It's not things I've bought recently, um, it's just um, things I've bought and I'm also going to do my top 10 things I've what I wear that I've had from a charity shop and top 10 things around my house that I've bought in a charity shop so um, I'll let you know when they're going to be uploaded it'll be sometime over the weekend because I'm off um, and hopefully we'll look something not like this um, so I will catch up with you all next week thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up if you didn't like this video don't give it a thumbs down because that's just me um, and um, subscribe hit that subscribe button and you'll um, hopefully see less of me next week and we'll do it and hopefully we'll we're getting there kids we're getting there so um, thank you for tuning in lovely to see you all lots of love take care bye